Alaska is a U.S. state in the western United States. On the northwest extremity of the country's west coast a semi-exclave of the U.S. It borders the Canadian province of British Columbia and territory of Yukon to the east and has a maritime border with Russia's Chukotka Autonomous Okrug to the west, just across the Bering Strait. To the north are the Chukchi and Beaufort Seas of the Arctic Ocean, while the Pacific Ocean lies to the south and southwest. Alaska is by far the largest U.S. state by area, comprising more total area than the next three largest states Texas, California, and Montana combined, and the seventh largest subnational division in the world. It is the third least populous and the most sparsely populated state, but by far the continent's most populous territory located mostly north of the 60th parallel, with a population of 736,081 as of 2020 more than quadruple the combined populations of northern Canada and Greenland. Approximately half of Alaska's residents live within the Anchorage metropolitan area. The state capital of Juneau is the second largest city in the United States by area, comprising more territory than the states of Rhode Island and Delaware. The former capital of Alaska, Sitka, is the largest U.S. city by area. Alaska was occupied by various indigenous peoples for thousands of years before the arrival of Europeans. The state is considered the entry point for the settlement of North America by way of the Bering Land Bridge. The Russians were the first Europeans to settle the area beginning in the 18th century, eventually establishing Russian America, which spanned most of the current state. The expense and difficulty of maintaining this distant possession prompted its sale to the U.S. in 1867 for 7.2 million United States dollars or approximately two cents per acre. The area went through several administrative changes before becoming organized as a territory on May 11, 1912. It was admitted as the 49th state of the U.S. on January 3, 1959. While it has one of the smallest state economies in the country, Alaska's per capita income is among the highest, owing to a diversified economy dominated by fishing, natural gas, and oil all of which it has in abundance. United States Armed Forces bases and tourism are also a significant part of the economy. More than half the state is federally owned public land, including a multitude of national forests, parks, and wildlife refuges. The indigenous population of Alaska is proportionally the highest of any U.S. state. At over 15 percent, close to two dozen native languages are spoken and Alaskan natives exercise considerable influence in local and state politics. The name, Alaska, was introduced in the Russian colonial period when it was used to refer to the Alaska Peninsula. It was derived from an Aleut language idiom, which figuratively refers to the mainland. Literally, it means object to which the action of the sea is directed. Numerous indigenous peoples occupied Alaska for thousands of years before the arrival of European peoples to the area. Linguistic and DNA studies done here have provided evidence for the settlement of North America by way of the Bering Land Bridge at the Upward Sun River site in the Tanana River Valley in Alaska. Remains of a six-week-old infant were found. The baby's DNA showed that she belonged to a population that was genetically separate from other Native groups present elsewhere in the New World at the end of the Pleistocene. Ben Potter, the University of Alaska Fairbanks archaeologist who unearthed the remains at the Upward Sun River site in 2013, named this new group Ancient Beringians. The Tlingit people developed a society with a matrilineal kinship system of property inheritance and descent in what is today Southeast Alaska, along with parts of British Columbia and the Yukon. Also in southeast were the Haida, now well known for their unique arts. The Shimshian people came to Alaska from British Columbia in 1887, when President Grover Cleveland, and later the U.S. Congress, granted them permission to settle on Annette Island and found the town of Metlakatla. All three of these peoples, as well as other indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest Coast, experienced smallpox outbreaks from the late 18th through the mid-19th century with the most devastating epidemics occurring in the 1830s and 1860s, resulting in high fatalities and social disruption. The Aleutian Islands are still home to the Aleut People's Seafaring Society, although they were the first native Alaskans to be exploited by the Russians.
western and southwestern Alaska are home to the Yupik, while their cousins the Alutik tilde Supiak live in what is now south-central Alaska. The Gwich'an people of the northern interior region are Athabascan and primarily known today for their dependence on the caribou within the much-contested Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. The North Slope and Little Diomede Island are occupied by the widespread Inupiat people.